Hello everyone, and welcome to a short presentation that hopes to convince you to choose Clojure as the programming language for your next project. My name is James Trunk. I'm a developer and team leader who has more than a decade of experience building simple solutions for complex problems. If I had to describe Clojure in just three words, I'd choose simple, powerful, and fun. Clojure fuses these three aspects together to form a language that will delight and inspire you, enabling you to create better solutions than you thought possible. Let's take a closer look at how it achieves this magic. We'll start with simple. Clojure has an elegantly simple syntax, which is easy to learn, read, write, and reason about. Clojure encourages the use of pure functions, whose predictability make them easy to reason about and to test. Clojure uses immutable data structures by default, which stop the world from changing underneath you and give you a solid foundation upon which to build easily understood functions and systems. Clojure's simplicity is the direct result of a consistent application of its overriding design principle. Keep everything untangled. Separate concepts are given separate constructs, which leads to components that are easy to understand in isolation and to compose together into whole systems. OK, so now let's examine how Clojure is powerful. Clojure has a sequence abstraction that gives you one interface for manipulating all of the major data structures. When you've learned this abstraction, you've added a powerful set of words to your vocabulary and a powerful set of tools to your toolkit. In Clojure, state is modeled as values over time, and this approach makes it easy to add concurrency and parallelism to your systems, allowing you to harness the power of multi-core CPUs. Clojure made the pragmatic choice to run on the JVM and have first-class Java interop, which gives you the power of running your code almost everywhere and access to a huge ecosystem of existing software. Clojure is a Lisp. Lisps are homoiconic, which means the code is a data structure, which means that metaprogramming is elegant and accessible, which means that you can shape the language to solve your particular problem. Hopefully you recognize some of the words in that sentence. If not, just trust me when I say that homoiconicity gives you a great power and a great responsibility. And finally, let's look at how programming closure is fun. Programming with a simple and powerful language makes you incredibly productive, and being productive is a lot of fun. Having fun motivates you to keep programming, which further drives your productivity. We're talking here about a fun-filled productivity feedback loop. And speaking about fun loops, closure's read, eval, print loop or REPL, is a joy to work with. The instant feedback allows you to explore your ideas, experiment your way to better solutions, and even interact with live systems. Then, there's Clojure's excellent tooling. It has an exemplary build and dependency system, a wide selection of cutting-edge IDEs, at least one of which is pushing the boundaries of how we interact with our code, and test libraries that give you instant feedback. All of these great tools make coding seriously fun. And last but not least, the Clojure community makes it fun to get involved. You'll be amazed at the community's competence and kindness, and you'll be impressed by the elegance and simplicity of their libraries. Not only do I think you'll feel very welcome, but I suspect that you'll have a lot of fun trying to live up to the high standards that they've set. Well, that's it. I hope that this lightning overview has been enough to convince you to take a closer look at Clojure. Now all that's left is for you to learn the language and then use it to build something simple, powerful, and have lots of fun doing it. Thank you for watching.